the dog loves psychology intelligence debate. I'm like, what's going on? Find out in this video. Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. If you've yet to do so, click down there to subscribe and hit the bell to sign up to notifications so you don't miss an update. And then when you click the link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book. <laughs> what, what are you doing? Okay. <laughs> poodle. Oh, poodle. Okay, there is a psychologist in Arizona, uh, Dr. Clive Wynn, I believe is his name, who's written a book called The Dog is Love, How and Why Your Dog Loves You. You know, when Tula looks at me with those big, I don't know, brownish eyes, Tula. Good girl. I mean, she gives me like a little lick. I mean, how can I not want to do what she wants? I mean, she grabs a stuffy. Uh, or when she's all cute and she brings me a stuffy. How can you not want to like, uh, grab the stuffy, throw the stuffy, play with her. Okay, stuff. yes, we've got to get this video done, poodle. The premise of Dr. Wynn's argument is what makes dogs special, aka little Thule here, is not how smart she is, but how like affectionate and social she is. And you are a very so, uh, no question, she's a super social, affectionate dog. Hmm. It's pretty clear and it's not up for dispute that our dogs they're pretty darn social. The premise of his argument is that he doesn't believe the dogs have this unique ability to understand and communicate with people. In his book, he's claiming that dogs have this unique ability for what he calls interspecies love. So what he's saying is say you raise a dog with some stuffies, maybe not stuffies, they talk about other animals, and they'll bond with them. Hmm, really? I don't know. Raise Tula with a bunch of stuff. Whoa! <laughs> what, what happened? So he's saying whatever species you happen to raise your dog with, they're gonna bond to that species and form that strong emotional attachment. And that's where this unique ability and how well dogs have sort of evolved to the point they're in. He's saying raise a dog with cats and your dog's gonna form this strong emotional bond with cats? Eh, I don't know. Possibly. Or name another species, penguins? Eh, maybe. No question. Our dogs are pretty social. Do I see Tula forming a strong emotional bond with Murray? No, she wasn't raised with Murray. In fact, I don't know if they have the, they have an unusual relationship with Murray being the dominant critter in the house. Hmm. The second part of his argument goes with just how social dogs are and how quickly they can bond with people. Um, he quotes an experiment in that, as long as a puppy under the age of 14 weeks can spend 90 minutes a day with a person over a period of seven days, they'll develop this strong emotional attachment. He says that our dogs, they have this, what he calls an abnormal willingness to form strong emotional bonds or attachments with whatever species happen to cross their paths. So our dogs primarily driven by free love, being hypersocial, or have they been able to form this deep, strong bond with us because they're able to uh, interpret what we're thinking and feeling and, and um, that's how they're able to ultimately make that, we make that bond and connection with them. I don't know. And does it really matter? In the big grand scheme of things, probably not. It's, I suspect with our dogs, as is with little Tula, it's a combination of many things. You were super social, at least your ancestor were. You were super willing to bond, at least be really social with people, those first humans, and I think you've got the ability to kind of communicate sort of some of what I'm thinking and feeling and you can communicate that. Because of all those things, we form that deep bond. That's what I think. So if we're gonna do our little experiment here, we have the stuffy. 
We have Tula, we have me. Tula, me or the stuffy? Who do you choose? Oh, huh. Tula has made her choice. Thanks so much for watching this edition of NRE Secrets on the ongoing sort of dog intelligence, dog bonding, psychology debate. If you've yet to do so, I encourage you to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit the bell to sign up for notifications. And then lastly, I encourage you to get a copy of my free book. You can do that by clicking the, the link directly in that box below.